surprisingly better than the BMW 550i, which means the competition may just begin to fall out of the picture. Find out more at HyundaiGenesis.com. You're the folks that bought the old Miller place, in spite of what happened there. Excuse me? It's a dead zone. Calls have been getting lost in there for years. The last residence went completely insane. We have the Verizon network. You're good. Well, you've got crabgrass. We test our network every day to be America's most reliable. Verizon Wireless. Get the BlackBerry Pearl or the exclusive pink BlackBerry Curve, now just $99.99. Thursday, September 25th. <laughs> Earl's tackling the biggest stuff on his list. <laughs> Results will vary. I need a hug. <laughs> Earl's back September 25th on NBC. Tom Coughlin, coach the Jacksonville Jaguars for nine years. Left there, spent a year out of the NFL, and then came back to coach the Giants in 04. Wins the Super Bowl now in his fifth year in a brand new contract. From the 48 yard line, they send Jacobs over the right side. Tough to bring down. Seven yard gain for Jacobs, who is 6'4 and 264. Yeah, I think you can see the game plan right off the bat is when they run, they want to run right and they want to run right at Jason Taylor because, you know, he's not he's not a big guy and he's not a run player anyway. If you can get strong side to his side and he has a bad knee, you can see that he just can't hold the point on that side. And that's going to be a problem all night. Jacob is last year averaged five yards per carry. See, here's where Eli is a lot more comfortable doing these kinds of things. And looks the part, too. And swings it out to Jacobs, who juggles it and can't get the handle, and that pass is incomplete. It'll be third down and three. Fred Smooth put the pressure on from the corner. We'll see Eli's brother, Peyton, who didn't play at all in preseason because of the infected bursa sack had that removed when Indianapolis opens up its season on Sunday Night Football as we head from here to Indy and the Chicago Bears will be coming into town. And here we go third down and they go three wide receivers and you can see right here, right here. Steve Smith now is up on the right and they usually Eli Manning really likes Steve Smith on third down situations. But Manning didn't like what he saw from the defense and the play call there. Timeout, New York. The new 375 horsepower Hyundai Genesis can go from zero to 60 in 5.7 seconds, even faster than a Porsche Boxster. Which means, if it starts now, it will reach 60 miles an hour now. Find out more at HyundaiGenesis.com. Morning, Mr. Bill. Here you go. Thanks, Mr. Hans. Uh, no, oh. Coffee, two dollars on debit MasterCard. I always wanted brown shoes. <laughs> Your personal trainer says to step it up a notch. No, Gym membership, fifty-nine dollars a month. Good, there's a bike open. What a day! Briefcase, one hundred twenty dollars. Wait, time to pack up, Mr. Bill. Oh no! Making it through the day. Hey, the bus is right on schedule. Priceless. Oh. For whatever comes your way, there's debit MasterCard. This salad is really good. You want to buy it? No, no, thank you. I'm a meditarian. A what? A uh, meditarian. I only eat meat, beef, bacon. You know, meditarian. Oh. It's a personal choice. You have to commit to it, you know? The Wendy's Baconator. Bacon, Six bacon, strips beef, of hickory bacon, smoked bacon, bacon, bacon on two bacon, quarter pound bacon, patties bacon, of fresh, bacon, never bacon, frozen bacon, beef. Bacon, it's way better bacon, than bacon, fast food. Bacon, it's bacon, Wendy's. Bacon, have a way better shake way later. Enjoy a hand spun frosty shake late at night. Monday. From the creator of Deadliest Catch comes TV's toughest competition. This creek has claimed quite a few people. This is the hardest thing I've ever done. All new America's Toughest Jobs, Monday on NBC. You can experience the nice game in Sunday Night Football on NBCSports.com and NFL.com. It's called Sunday Night Football Extra. You can see the game, replay stats, even choose your own camera angles. You don't like the announcers? 
Too bad you stuck with us. But apart from that, check it out. 33. Here is Derek Ward taking the shovel to the outside, breaking a London Fletcher tackle and picking up the first down after the timeout. I knew that play was going to go to Derek Ward because when they took the timeout, Brandon Jacobs was trying to get out, and it, they, this play was called for Derek Ward. So they put him in there, but before the timeout, they had Jacobs in there. And you know, a lot of teams have these, you know, these packages and these kinds of things, and that was Derek Ward's play. And you can see where again they're running right at Jason Taylor. Now they spread it out five wide, including Jacobs set to the right side at a wide receiver spot. And the pass will go to Plexico Burris. And he is a little short of the first down. He gets taken down by the safety Laron Landry, who, because of a hamstring problem, did not play at all in training camp, but told us last night. He's 97 percent. You know, don't you just feel here's Plexico Burris right here and he's going to come up and just run a hook find a hole right in there get to the inside work back to the quarterback and you just feel that that they can throw in front of these corners in front of these Redskin defensive backs all night. You know? And one of them that's missing of course is Sean Spring so the Redskins are short in that area. Last night they thought Sean Springs was not only going to play that he was going to start. Came out before the game and they said no. Meanwhile Jacob says no. You're not going to stop me. And the big bull goes down to the 14 yard line. He runs right over Landry for a 17 yard carry. You know and you're not going to see a lot of that but you know here they run to the left. They get a pretty good lead. A good cutback. Now watch him unload right there on Landry. That is getting run over. Landry's going to say, where in the heck did that truck come from? Landry just went from the 97% he told us he was last night to about 84. Landry's about uh, not knowing where the heck he is right now. Four and a half to go in the quarter. Off the fake. Manning gets chased, and Manning will throw that one away. Chased that time by Kedrick Goldston, who was hurt on the first series but came back into the game second down and 10 for the Giants and there is Landry and we talked about the fact he didn't play at all in preseason didn't practice that much either because of the hamstring and then he was run over by Jacobs and Chris Horton a seventh round draft choice out of UCLA a rookie will fill that role now Brandon Jacobs really unloads on him watch him I mean he takes Leron Landry and shakes his whole body but Landry gives away 62 pounds to Jacobs. And here he goes again. Boom. Down to the six yard line. London Fletcher. Did I just hear a boom? I had, I, John, I had to throw it in. We've been working together for this is our seventh year. You know, when I see Brandon Jacobs, it's the only way to describe it. I know, and you think of that. And I mean, here's a 265 pound tailback. And we're talking to Greg Blosh last night, the defense coordinator of the Redskins. And he said, I told all my defensive backs. You better get him lower. You're going to be on a highlight reel. Ron Landry didn't listen to that part of the speech. You're not going to get me for copyright infringement, are you? <laughs> no, man. Anyone going to have booze? Third and one. Just throw it out there. <laughs> Here's Derek Ward in the game now. And Ward throws the right side but can't get the first. London Fletcher, how good is this guy and how consistent is he? Last year, all season long, he missed a total, a total of 10 plays from scrimmage. 10 of the thousands of more than a thousand plays that are run against the defense a thousand and twenty six total plays he missed 10 of them You're right and that could have been a four point tackle right there because by stopping the Giants here and causing fourth down it sent him into a field goal situation so you, know, you look at some plays and you can put points on them that was a four point tackle by London Fletcher. Now a 24 yard attempt Carney a long time with San Diego and with New Orleans last year with Jacksonville and Kansas City now at least for the moment with the Giants puts it through so he has scored four points tonight the Giants have a total of 10 10 to nothing Giants 253 left in the quarter. It's a big moment in a boy's life. It's a rite of passage really when you can look him in the eye and you know that he's ready. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Time to grab manhood by the horns. The NFL. That's how I see it.
The new Samsung Series 8. Now until September 27th, get $200 off any NFL collectible when you buy select Samsung HD TVs. What do people think of pasta from Pizza Hut? That's good. This is delicious. They can't get enough of Tuscany pastas from Pizza Hut. Choose from new premium bacon mac and cheese, meaty marinara, or creamy chicken Alfredo. Three pounds delivered with breadsticks for $12.99. Now get pasta from Pizza Hut. Somebody shot another bad guy. Give him a medal. These bodies are drifting in your direction. Drifting or being pushed? Whatever happens, I'm not taking it down with me. If you don't back off, you will regret it. Righteous kill. Rated R. September 12th. Notre Dame Saturday returns to NBC, and the Irish are fighting for a return to the nation's elite. The season opens versus San Diego State Saturday, and a week later against Michigan. Notre Dame Saturday on NBC. We got to try to match their intensity. We got to come out, you know, take the crowd out of it early, and we got to play together. You know, it's going to be a 15 round fight, so uh, I think that the physical battle is really going to be paramount. Our goal and our only, only purpose here is to win. Well, right now, the New York Giants on top. 10 to nothing, 253 left in the quarter. You know, John, the Giants are the Super Bowl champions, but in a way, people are saying, well, Dallas is better than they are, and maybe a couple of other teams and in the AFC, so maybe they're fueled a little bit by that. Brett Favre, of course, comes to town. He plays in the same stadium, so he took a little bit of the spotlight away. And the Giants are making a pretty good opening statement tonight about, hey, you know what, we're the champs. Yeah, and, and I think that's true, and that's the way it should be. I mean, I believe you... You earn a championship, and when you're the champion, you're the champion until someone beats you. So maybe Dallas can beat them on paper, or maybe you know, some AFC team can beat them on paper, but you have to beat them on the field. Football field at the three-yard line. This is Rock Cartwright taking it up to the 24, and let's take a look at the giant defense. Justin Tuck, Notre Dame. Barry Cofield, Northwestern. Fred Robbins, Wake Forest. Matthias Kiwanuka, Boston College. Jarris Wilkinson, Georgia Tech. AP, Arizona. Danny Clark, Illinois. Aaron Ross, Lee, University of Texas. James Butler, Georgia Tech. Mike Johnson, Arizona. Corey Webster, LSU. Corey Webster with a big interception in the NFC Championship game against the Packers last year and we've got a whistle before the play again and we've got a false start the second one against Washington. False start offense number 82 five yard penalty first down. Antoine Randall L the wide receiver. Yeah, the giant defense is a, you know it's a pressure defense anyway and it's a blitzing defense and you always kind of assume, you know, long yardage you're going to blitz, third and long, those types of things. But the Giants also will run blitz and blitz on first down as they did on that play, bringing the middle linebacker Antonio Pierce. Again, they go with split backs. Porter stays in the block, and that's volleyball back by Danny Clark. He's one of the new Giants. They picked him up as a free agent from the Texans. He's been around ninth year in the league, played for Tom Coughlin back at Jacksonville. And we just talk about the blitz, and this is what the, the Giants do. Clark comes from right here. He's unblocked. He knows that you just key the quarterback. You're trying to get to him. But when he sets the throw, you go up and knock it down. You know, Steve Spagnuolo is the defensive coordinator of the Giants. Almost became the head coach of the Redskins last year, but he loves to blitz. And he says, as long as it works, I'll keep doing it all night. On second and 15, they run a draw. Portis tackled by Butler. Spagnolo worked under Jim Johnson, the great defensive coordinator at Philadelphia. Gets the job here. So how does it start out for him? They give up 80 points in the first two games. They look awful. They're 0-2. They're down 17 to 3 to Washington at halftime of the third game. Win that game thanks mainly to a goal line stand. The next thing you know, he's in demand and could have had the Redskin head coaching job, but opted to stay in New York. And then he's going to get more offers, and he knows that, and Tom Coughlin knows that, and he's playing his dying defense now. On third and 12, they spread it out. 
And Santana Moss was the intended receiver, but it looked like there were 37 blue shirts in coverage. Fourth down. Yeah, that was a very good mixture of defense. He, he gave him on, on first down, he gave him a blitz. Second down, he gave him a blitz. Third down, he gave him six defensive backs and made him throw into that. So, so far early in this game, the giant defense really has the Redskin offense on their heels. To say the least. Brooks to punt. McWhorters to run it back. And he just does get that one away. Decent distance. Flag is down. McWhorters gets taken down at the 42. But Hockey League throws the flag back at the 10 yard line because Jerome McDougal came in and made First contact call, with the punter. Be the kicker. Defense number 95. 15 yard penalty. Automatic first down. Well, that's Justin McDougal's or Jerome McDougal's. Giants debut. He was with the Eagles. They picked him up last week, and here he cost them possession. That wasn't bad. I mean, it was just one of those things that you always talk about going to a point five yards in front of the punter, not going to the punter. McDougal was about two or three yards in front of the punter. He was a little tight. But that was a that was a big break there for the Redskins because like I said, it's not only a 15 yard penalty but it's an automatic first down and maybe for the first time here it gives them pretty good field position and that's the skins first first down of the game the game in which the Giants have gained 124 yards and Washington has gained three from the 37 yard line Portis slips but slithers to the outside and then pays the price up at the 41 yard line. John talking about Clinton Portis being such a big factor. He led the league in carries last year, and he's going to take himself out of the game here for at least to play. But he had a big night here last December, but he might have gotten poked in the eye. And Clinton Portis is a is a real tough guy. I mean, and I think that that if the Redskins early in the season are, are going to have much success offensively, I think he has to be a pretty big part of it. And you know the Redskins are using the same Joe Gibbs running game. Here's Liddell Betts who was his backup. Betts has been around. He was their second round choice in 0-2 out of the University of Iowa. Kiwanuka making the tackle. Kiwanuka going from linebacker back to end when Umanura was out for the season. You know, and he feels pretty comfortable in doing that too. I mean, he's just he's just reading the line. You know, the line's coming down. You know, the cut. He just goes right down with that offensive line, and it brings him right into the running back. I think Kiwanuka playing that right end is not going to be a problem for the Giants, and I think Justin Tuck, obviously playing the left end, will not be a problem either. Third down and seven now. Campbell. Was under pressure again that time. Aaron Wash, the corner, came in, forced the issue, and apart from that penalty, the Redskins still don't have a first down. Campbell has started the night, 0 for his first three. Manning five for 10 for 76. Remember how they used to last year? They would they would move Justin Tuck around, and you thought maybe he's playing left end now. They're not going to do it. Well, they can still do it. They put someone else at left end, McDougal at left end, and then let him play like Tuck played last year. Brooks already with his third punt, a short punt, and it's fair caught at the 31 yard line by McWhorters, and we go to Andrea. Well, guys, you were talking about Steve Spagnolo. Now, he spent tw almost 24 hours interviewing for the Redskin job at the home of owner uh, Dan Snyder, along with Vinny Serrato, the vice president. Now, Spagnolo told me he was flattered and overwhelmed by it, but that it was a gut decision that he pulled his name out of consideration. However, Serrato told me not only did they never offer Spagnolo the job, he said that when they reviewed the candidates, they felt that he was not the right person and that they did not have the comfort level with Spagnolo. Well, you never know when something is revisionist history or not. But we'll just take that at face value. From the 32 yard line, first down. Off the play fake, the pass is incomplete. One thing that we do know is that when they interviewed Spagnolo, Jim Zorn had already gone to Washington. They, they hired Zorn as the offensive coordinator. So no matter who the head coach was going to be, Zorn was going to be the offensive coordinator. For a while, it looked like it would be Jim Fossil. Steve Mariucci, I guess, was in the mix for a while. A couple of other guys were in the mix. We talked about Spagnolo, And then finally, 
in early February they interviewed Zorn for the head coaching job so he had get the the big raise and the big promotion to offensive coordinator and then he's the the big guy right and I think they not only had the offensive coordinator hired but I think they had Greg Gloss the defensive coordinator hired this is Derek Ward up to the 42 yard line and that will take us to the end of the first quarter a most productive one for the Super Bowl champs. The Giants lead the Redskins by a score of 10 to nothing in NBC's NFL kickoff special. We'll continue right after these messages. You really accomplished something here. Thank you, Mr. President. This fall, Colorful will be looking up to you. You owe them more than just running a ball. Universal Pictures presents. This is not just a game anymore. A story about how far you can go. We shouldn't play him. I'm playing. You're damn right you are. When you let nothing stand in your way. Inspired by the true story. The Express. Rated PG. In theaters October 10th. Hi, I'm Tony Romo. I've agreed to have myself doubled in size so that you never forget that new lemon-flavored Pepsi NFL kickoff gives you double Pepsi stuff points. With double stuff points, you can earn lots of cool stuff twice as fast, like MP3s, electronics, and even chances to win free trips. Because double really is better. Also available in diet. For a limited time, get oh. double stuff points when you drink lemon-flavored Pepsi NFL kickoff and earn lots of cool stuff twice as fast. Third and five for the Browns. Hey, what's the score? The Broncos up by three. But Browns about to score, baby. Yo, who's winning the game? When all you want is the Thursday night special. Play fake, Romo deep to the middle. When you want to hear the game, but you're out on the range. Yeah. How about them Cowboys? Third and 14 if you care to nitpick. When all you want is to never miss a highlight. Second touchdown of the night. When all you want is football. Shaken, just nerd. Chuck premieres Monday, September 29th on NBC. August 20th, the passing of Gene Upshaw, who was so instrumental in so many ways in the history of the National Football League as the Raiders guard for 15 seasons to the Hall of Fame he went and then to run the NFL Players Association. His widow Terry and his three sons here before the game. And Terry tossing the coin to start the 2008 season. Throughout the course of the season, the players are going to wear patches. There it is, GU 63. And for the opening weekend games, we have the logo, the emblem is on the field. And John, you were down in, in Washington last week and were very instrumental in, in the service. It must have been uh, quite something. Yeah, it, uh, it was. I mean, I was so close to Gene over the years. We both started the same year with the Oakland Raiders in 1967. So we were together directly and indirectly for 41 years. And you know, he gave, I mean, I mean, he gave himself to to pro football. I mean, that's, you know, as a player, I mean, he was a great player. He was a Hall of Famer. And then he went on for 25 years to, to lead the union. And you think of what the players were when he started 25 years ago and mm -hmm. what they were making and where they are today and what they're making. And Gene Upshaw was maybe the largest contributor to pro football ever. You know, I'm not going to dispute that. I just think that, you know, we talked about this last week. The thing I loved about him, you asked him a question, you got a direct answer. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't work it. the edges. Yeah. He went right up the middle. Right. And it may not always be the answer you want. On second down and 10 after the pass for Toomer was incomplete. On second down, they give the ball to Derek Ward in his fifth year, former Jet, who came, came into his own last year, and then he got hurt, but he was part of that committee that was so successful in getting the Giants to the playoffs, and then he was hurt at the end. And, and now look at the committee they have. I mean, they start Brandon Jacobs, who can run over anything, and then they can bring Derek Ward, and they still have Ahmad Bradshaw as a change of pace. So just in their running game alone they could throw so many things at you but again I go back it all starts with this group right here that offensive line that I think is one of the best in football 37 and that line does its job long enough for Manning to get the pass off and it's caught by Samaris Moss 
who gets taken down at the 33 yard line. So Moss for a 23 yard gain. He would be their number four wide receiver. His first catch of the season. You know, if I were an offensive lineman though I would want to protect for Eli Manning because I know he's going to hang in there and someone may get off my block just like they did on David Deal that time. But he's going to hang in there and still make that throw. Sonoris Moss does a good job of selling that he's going to go deep before he breaks the out line. The first down, now they give the ball to Ward. I don't know what the odds were on the proposition, but Sonoris is Santana's brother, younger brother. Santana, the number one receiver for the Washington Redskins, and you would have thought that Santana would have caught a pass this season before Sonoris. Uh-uh. There is Santana Moss. And yeah, we were talking about the depth that they that they have a running back to Giants but also a wide receiver when you look at Burris and then they got Dominic uh, Hickson and Monty Toomer Steve Smith Sonoris Moss I mean they can bring a lot of guys at you and they are doing it in this first half. Now I didn't even mention the Super Bowl hero David Tyree who had knee surgery in the offseason they do hope to have him back before the season ends and Manning's going to have to call the Giants second time out of the half when we come back it'll be second down and six chins up 10 nothing look the mountains on this Coors Light cold activated bottle turn blue and the beer is cold how can you tell your beer is cold without it I, I can't do it you know I, I just can't do it coach when was the first time you saw the mountains turn blue 91 when we won the division it wasn't invented yet. It's, it's, uh, the, 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 well. <laughs> when the mountains turn blue, your beer is cold and ready for kickoff. Please not if you like the following. A taste as cold as the Rockies. Mm -hmm. Cold activated bottles. Mm -hmm. Shirts with random triangles. Mm -hmm. Catch it, bring it, bathe it, watch it, turn it, leave it, stop all that. Yeah. Feel it, call it, find it, view it, code it, jump it. Set underneath Green Day, American Idiot, Mariah Carey, by Bob. Oh, we belong together. Sean Paul, get busy. ZZ Top, sharp dressed man. Introducing VCast Music with Rhapsody. Tush. Unlimited access to millions of songs for your computer and phone for one low monthly fee. From top artists to hidden gems, love them or hate them, you get them all. Exclusively from America's most entertaining network, Verizon Wireless. We talked about David Tyree offseason surgery, so still unable to play. But this one is for the time capsule, folks. You'll see it for the rest of your lives, your kids' lives, your grandkids' lives. They'll play it over and over. Maybe the most dramatic play ever in a Super Bowl. Manning almost in the grasp. Mike Carey almost blew the whistle. Back to throw. Pins it against his helmet. Falls down on top of Rodney Harrison. That sets up the Burris catch. It will live forever. Second down and six now with the ball of the 28-yard line. Manning, a ton of time. That line does a great job, and the catch is made at the 11-yard line. Burris juggled it for the moment.